So what's going on here then? I've had a bit of a setback with the boiler building in that I've left this setup by the garage door and it's been quite damp of late. So what we've got here is a wooden former with the steel disc on the underside of it and all of that is sat inside the copper dish that we made which is the boiler tube plate which was a sliding fit if you remember in this barrel so what's happened is i think that the dampness has got into the wood and the wood has expanded and expanded the copper disc that we machined to a sliding fit inside this barrel so what i'm currently trying to do now is use the fire to heat the tube to hopefully expand the tube somewhat such that I can get this former and the copper tube plate out of the barrel. I've had wood inside here and been hitting it with a hammer etc and it's really tight, unbelievably tight. But it's been here quite a while now, maybe an hour and I can feel this rocking. So whether it's the copper tube plate that's rocking within the copper tube or whether it's the wood former and the metal disc moving slightly inside the dish of the tube plate I don't know so I'm hoping that this is going to come out at some point we will see perhaps you can hear it just rattling a bit So it didn't make that noise earlier. It was completely solid. But which which part is moving, I don't know. Whether the wood is moving within the copper tube plate or whether it's the copper tube plate moving within this boiler barrel. We'll see how we go on and try and get it out a bit later. So it's a few minutes later now. And it's not good news at the moment because the bit that's moving is the wooden disc inside the dish that we formed which is going to be the tube plate so this is rocking about the wood is obviously drying out contracting again to somewhere near where it was but now it's loose within this um, copper tube plate that it's expanded whilst it's been a bit damp so i'll try and pull it out with the pliers and see where we go So that's not happy but in the meantime what I'm hoping is now that I've heated the tube up the tube will have expanded slightly so my next thing now is I'm going to try and knock a piece of wood up the barrel and knock the tube plate out from the far side So I've now inserted this piece of wood inside the barrel and that's stuck against another piece of wood which is actually touching the copper plate at the far end of here. So let's see whilst it's still reasonably warm whether I can drift it out. You can just see it's starting to come out there now, slightly katy cornered, but it is coming out. So now I need to knock the bottom end of this again that way.
trying to work it out gradually. But we're nearly there. There we go. I have a good friend called Malcolm and he says there's always a way. So there we are. We've actually got that out. So now I'll need to re-machine this down again to a sliding fit when all of this has cooled down. There's the block of wood which I was knocking with this piece. I'm just knocking that through like that. And this is what I was hitting against. So there we are. Let's see how we go now when all this has cooled down. And this may well contract, this copper may well contract back onto this wood disc. And the wood disc may start to expand a bit now it's away from the heat of the fire. But there's always a benefit to this. And that's the fact that my lounge is absolutely red hot. So let's see how we go anyway. So following on then from last time getting this thing back out of the boiler barrel, I think I better make sure now that this copper part is actually fully down onto this wood former and the steel disc that's inside. So I'm just going to put those two together in the sandwich and as near to the centre point as possible just exert some force and see whether this does actually move a little bit further into this copper area here. I've not particularly noticed anything. to move very far if it's moved anything so there we are hopefully if it did come slightly off it's now fully back on together um, the thing is now, being as this copper flange area here and this plate might not be quite as concentric as it once was around this wood former and around this centre boss. And with the difficulty I was having previously with only taking half a thousandth of an inch cut across this face here and still the cutter digging in deep enough such that uh, it would actually grip on this and cause the wood former which was in the lathe going round to actually slip on this disc. Uh, I think the best bet now is not to use the cutting tool to reduce the diameter of this such that it fits in the boiler barrel again. I'll perhaps use a file and then some emery cloth and just see how I go with that. So I've got this smoke box tube plate back in the three jaw chuck of this lathe again and I've got the numbers corresponding with the chuck jaw numbers again as we had before hopefully we're going to get some concentricity out of that. I've got this dowel here with some Vaseline on the end just lightly touching on the end of this such that it won't wander off the wood former. So I'm going to give that just a trial test to see that it's not going anywhere and it's all tightened up in the chuck and what I've decided to do because it was so near fitting in anyway previously 
uh, and we had extreme difficulties with the tool actually digging into it and stopping it and um, causing this wood disc to slip within all this arrangement here so I've decided to go with the emery cloth as opposed to going with the uh, file etc to start with and let's see how we go with that Trying to make sure that nothing catches on the chuck jaws. So I'll see how I go at that now. I'll just try this into the boiler barrel. Well, it goes into the boiler barrel and it slides up and down, uh, but it's not quite as free as it once was. So I'm just going to persevere in the same manner as I've just done there with a bit of emery cloth, twitching on here and keep trying it in the boiler barrel until I'm happy with the uh, sort of sliding fit that I achieve. <laughs> 